this is super monday and welcome to zillion dimension before we assemble and create our micro drill i would like to announce a giveaway uh, a sony headphone is up for grab and all you need to do is subscribe to the channel like the video and comment on the video the, as soon as we hit 250 subscriber i will do the giveaway uh, and then second giveaway will happen when we hit the 500 mark and when we hit 1000 subscriber i will do a giveaway of a 3d printing pen let's uh, uh, start with our uh, project today uh, this is the housing which i have created for the micro drill and i have uh, given a small branding of dremel you know the tool company which i really like uh, we'll create it ourselves uh, this is printed in white PLA plastic and I have painted it to give it a wooden finish. Uh, something really interesting happened while I was doing the print. One of the mount of Tivo Tarantula uh, got broke and uh, so I had to rush to the local market and I got it uh, uh, cut on um, a compressed board. I will show you that which we use to create uh, uh, our electricity board or switch boards and uh, thankfully the shop owner did it uh, for me instantly he used the bandsaw uh, to cut this uh, part on the board and uh, i fixed it onto my tivo tarantula and it's working fine now okay so the idea is that you know this is the uh, housing for the micro drill you can see I've designed it in such a way that if I hold it it my thumb can rest onto it and you know the shape is such that it's ergonomically designed so I can push and drill into an object okay uh, so last time uh, when I created the hand blender if you remember you know we use battery to power it on but this time we'll be using uh, AC adapter right so we'll use the power from the wall outlet directly so apart from this printed part and this uh, snap-in cover which uh, works based on the tight fit and the tolerance of both the parts so no screws required you know it's really really fixes really well so cover here and then I have uh, printed this bracket which will hold the uh, DC motor and uh, I'll drop it in it will get stuck here and I'll glue it. This bracket will ensure that the DC motor doesn't uh, wobble sideways and our drill is uh, steady and uh, we, are, we are able to drill uh, good holes. Okay. Now, so apart from this, what, what is the electronics I'm using? I'm using a DC motor and I'm using a AC adapter. I'm also using a PWM switch which will give variable speed to the motor. We can increase the speed of motor, we can decrease the speed of motor, right? Here we have the parts. Uh, the DC motor is connected to the PWM switch and also this female connect. DC motor is marked positive negative, the PWM switch is marked positive negative and this a female connector is marked positive and negative. All you need to do is connect the cables positive negative to the on, on the PWM switch there's an output which is for the motor and there's an input from this female uh, connector and we connect this AC adapter right here we connect this AC adapter uh, to the wall socket and that's how we get the power so let's start assembling it first we will drop in this uh, bracket into the housing so i have this uh, glue to uh, fix this bracket to the housing and i have a set of screwdriver to push it a bit right and so we, we're gonna keep the we'll put it like this we are planning to put it like this so because of its natural design it's gonna get stuck right here and uh, we'll push it enough so that the pin is out and we'll, we'll be able to uh, connect the shank onto it to connect the drill bits. 
with that i like to show you that you know i have also ordered these uh, drill bits from amazon very cheap around uh, 6 dollars or 400 rupees and uh, so this is the drill bit we'll be using to drill holes in something like this 2.5 mm acrylic sheet and uh, i have these i've also ordered these shanks which will go on the top of this pin and then inside it will fix the drill bit so let's first apply glue onto the sides you know and you need to be very careful because the glue is very powerful powerful and uh, it can actually bond your skin right on two fingers so be very careful once that is done we will take this and we'll just drop it in like this in correctly i'll push with the uh, screwdriver to the sides so that it's uh, connected properly you can see that it's fitting quite well okay now we'll drop the motor in and that's simple and we will push it with the screwdriver all right uh, so we you can see that motor is dc motor is fixed onto the bracket uh, and the pin is out as uh, we wanted it to be and from this side you can see that it's uh, fit onto the bracket which will ensure that the motor doesn't move sideways now the next is step is to you know connect these uh, this pvm switch button which will help us to give a different power to the motor and different speed so i have ensured that this time i create that hole uh, uh, while i design it to ensure it fits and looks professional so i have connected the pwm switch here and the female uh, jack here i'll just put some glue to ensure it sticks to it quite well uh, this time i've ensured that i use uh, the wiring long enough so that in me right it doesn't uh, stretch each other now you can see that uh, the female uh, switch and the pwm switch is connected properly here and we can simply align it and uh, slide it in and just push it in okay so our micro drill is ready and now it's time to test it let's put this uh, uh, drill bit shank onto it and uh, let me get the l key and uh, we'll tighten it i have fit the shank and then we'll put this uh, bit holder with the bit and let's close it and uh, we'll test it now okay so look at it you know it looks so beautiful you know wooden finish and it's ready to be tested let me get the uh, power and for it let's connect the as adapter so this is the sweet sound of our drill on full power i have a 2.5 mm acrylic sheet let's try and make a hole onto it we need to be very careful when we put the drill find a place here we go so see it can drill another hole let's try another hole okay hole is done oh it's got stuck let me take it out and you can see this it's uh, done across you know you can create it create this drill even if you don't have the 3d printer and you can't print this casing onto it you can use a smaller bottle of a cold drink like you know coke pepsi or uh, in india minute maid that the bottle of a minute maid is much more tougher so all you need to do is instead of so instead of using this casing in that bottle 
in the cap you can put the dc motor you can glue it with the, some glue like this it's a fabricate 203 glue you can use that to glue the motor onto the cap and then you can you order the pwm switch from amazon this uh, female switch from amazon the dc motor from amazon all these components uh, and the AC adapter everything is available on amazon you can go to a, a local electronic store and you can buy it from there okay so remember we have a giveaway uh, going on all you need to do is to be eligible for that to subscribe to the channel like it and comment uh, on the video and let me know how uh, you liked it or what else you would like to see from tomorrow i'm using i'm starting a five minute rapid fire 3d printing video where i'll be repairing uh, something in my home or i'll be creating something which is useful uh, which can be done in five minutes that uh, thank you so much for watching my videos and uh, subscribing to my channel and supporting me with whole heart. Thank you so much. Have a nice day and take care.